Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in Java programming language is the network programming or the socket programming. So both of the name same name network programming or you can also it is a call it as a socket programming. Okay, so now let's see what is the socket programming. First of all, before going to understand the programming concept, let's have a some theory part. Network. What do you mean by network? A set of cooperative interconnected computers we call it as a network set of cooperative and interconnected computers those type you call it as a network in network every system has domain name and ip address compulsory if your systems are connected uh, over the network so every system is consist every in network every system is having a domain name so what is your system name Okay, so host, local host, if you are using the same computer, it's a local host or if you want, uh, so the domain name you need to mention and the IP address also, the connection where exactly uh, the system is present. So, in a network, every system has a domain name and IP address are compulsory. So, this is one system and this is another system and this is another system, all are connected over the network. Okay, so when uh, they are connected over a network, means these are then it becomes a cooperative computers interconnected computers okay so each system is having a domain name as well as the ip address okay so now let's try to understand our steps to develop a client application and the server application first let's have and try to understand the client application and the server application so see here steps in the next video, I will explain the program how to uh, work on client and server applications, how the output will be appear. Okay. So, first let us have a look on the uh, steps. First, you are a client. Okay. You are creating an application. So, what are the steps you need to be followed? First, create a socket object with server address and port number. So, first of all, what is a socket? A socket is nothing but a connection end at client side socket is nothing but it is a connection socket is nothing but a connection okay you are putting a plug okay your computer you are giving a charger uh, so the charger point is connected to a socket socket means it is nothing but a connection connection end at the client side I am talking about the client side a socket is nothing but it is a connection end at client side so First, create a socket object with server address and port number because you want to send the data to the server, right? So, for that, you require this address. So, the server address and the port number you require. So, create a socket object with server address and port number. So, where you have to be there. So, first establish the connection So by using the socket object. Next, create an output stream. Okay, you establish the connection. So, from client to server, you this is a client and this is a server. You establish the connection. Okay, and this is a network. Let's take this as a network. So, this is a client and this is a server. Okay, so here, whatever it is there, it's a socket is connected here. So, here, this is a client socket. And this is the server socket. Server side is a server socket and the client side is a client socket. So, create a socket object with server address and port number. Now, connection is established. Create an output stream because you know you need to send the data to the server. So, that is output. The client is sending the data output. So, create an output stream that can be used to send information to the server. Okay, I created an output stream. Next, create input stream also. Okay, I am sending the data. Then why we need to create an input stream? Because you have to receive the response. At least acknowledgement all you have to receive from the server. So, for that, create an input stream that can be used to receive information from the server. First, you want to send the data to the server create an output stream and you have to receive the data from server then create an input stream okay socket object is created with server address and port number output stream can be used to send information next create input stream to receive information okay and 
do whatever the operations you want input output operation hi hello how are you something you want to send the data to the server and the server is sending the data to you so like that so do whatever the input output operations the task you can do write the code and then close the socket that's it that is the client application now let's have a look on the server application server side okay so this is a client and this is a server right so here this uh, client socket and the server socket these are all connected over the network okay so client is over so what you have done you had created a socket object okay with the server port number and address then you have created an output stream to send the data and then you have created an input stream to receive the data from server and you have performed some operations input output operation you have closed the socket now server so what you have to do uh, for implementing server application what steps you need to be followed create a server socket so here also you need to create a server socket server socket object with port number so you are just only with port number only you are creating okay anyhow you are receiving the data no need of address because you are receiving a, a client so from where you are getting you will get the information okay you just required only the port number so call accept method you have to call accept method why we are using accept method to receive request from a client if you want to receive the data from a client the server has to call accept method then only uh, you can receive the data so this accept method contains a program uh, task which uh, sends the data from client to the server okay i'm calling accept method after accepting you have to create an input stream so that can be used to receive information from the client input receive okay it's not output stream so first accept it okay uh, request if you want to uh, uh, receive the request from client you have to call the accept method then create an input stream why i am creating an input stream for server side because to receive information from the client okay i had received the information then what i have to do then create an output stream why i need to create an output stream because the server has to send the information to the client right so further an output stream is required so create an output stream that can be used to send information to the client okay i had create an output stream then you have to first create the input and output stream then perform the input output operations whatever you want then close the server socket so this is what you have to uh, these are the steps you need to be followed for server uh, client perform the client application as well as the server application so in the next video i will explain uh, a program how to write the client pro application program and the server application program and how to uh, execute that program uh, on the command prompt okay so i will explain the program on the paper and try to implement the same program on the your system so that you will get a clarity on that so before going to understand that uh, a small uh, terms what is a socket i said socket is nothing but a collection connection and at client side and server socket means it's a connection and at server side and what is a port number port number is nothing but it is used to identify what okay a port number is nothing but user to identify the service identify service what service identify service we use the port number so port number always ranges from 0 to 65535 it's ranges from 0 to 65535 so there are some reserved ports are there so you have to remember that reserved ports what are the reserved ports the reserved ports are 0 to 1023 or reserved ports okay and some free ports you have you can use that type. the free ports are 10242 so these are the free ports you can use these ports and these are reserved ports 0 to 1023 okay so actually don't think that socket is not a hardware it is a software program socket it's nothing but this socket i said it's a connection it's, it is a connection and it client side so it is a software program it is a software program okay thank you